Hello again, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Kojiko North Bay News, truly local television. I'm Greg Astenbrook. Well, we start with something different on this night, kind of a big story that I'm sure everyone in the world really is talking about, including those in North Bay. A year and a half of campaigning has come down to this. The 58th United States presidential election is on as we speak, as Americans will choose who will be their next president. We caught up with Nipissing University political science professor Dr. David Tabakchik again, who stresses the significance of tonight's results for Canadians. Like all decisions in the United States, a lot of it will affect Canada regardless. Uh, we can see that the two candidates have very distinct positions on many issues that will affect our country, yes. I asked Dr. Tabachnik to estimate the effect of each candidate winning First, starting with Republican nominee Donald Trump. Trump has made some fairly definitive statements related to NAFTA and free trade, and that certainly will affect our country. Um, depends on your view of NAFTA, if we've benefited it or not, but certainly the cancellation of NAFTA, which is possible under the agreement, would have a major effect on our economy. The second thing that he's talked about on and off is the United States in relationship to NATO, and that of course is our most important military alliance. If the United States somehow pulled out of NATO or wanted to re-jig the organization, that would have tremendous effect on Canada as well. Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, uh, she is for NAFTA. She certainly is supportive of NATO, more or less as it stands now, and so there would be far less change under a Clinton presidency. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has stated that he looks forward to working with whoever gets elected, Professor Tabachnik says. Well, that's the right thing to say. I would uh, always uh, advise a Prime Minister to uh, be supportive of the President no matter who they are. I have a feeling that Trudeau has his own personal choice, which he might not have shared as of yet, uh, considering the points about NAFTA and NATO. Um, so uh, he's being a good politician in that instance. How does this political science professor feel heading into election night? Well, I'm a bit nervous, to be frank. Uh, I've been following this election, as many of your viewers have, and I'm very anxious to see the results. I will certainly be sitting down in front of my television and computer uh, looking for any insights. Uh, we probably will know some of the results definitively between 8 and 9 o'clock, so uh, perhaps uh, you can get back to me then. <laughs> We now go to Greg Estabrooks, who went downtown this Tuesday to ask people if they were going to watch the U.S. election coverage this Tuesday night. Why will you be watching? I want to see who's going to win. <laughs> this should be very interesting. Do you find that more people in this country are more tuned into this U.S. election than any other? You know what, I really don't know, but I know a lot of my friends are extremely interested. I want to know how, if Trump gets in, how is it going to affect us as Canadians? Um, whatever happens in the United States affects us greatly. Uh, we are their number one trading partner. They're a nation that we tend to be dominated by, so it's important that we see what's going on. Do you have any rooting interest? Very much so, Democrat to the core. As some of the things that people that the people are saying is like, do you really want this person? Do you really want that person? But I don't think Donald Trump should win. Do you think that you're more interested this time around than any other election in U.S. history that you've been alive for? I would say yes because I've got concerns. Like you just, you've got Donald Trump with the way that he's managed his companies and he's gone bankrupt. How like how many times have his companies gone bankrupt? Like it's just, do you want the United States to really kind of go downhill and? Do you want to give him that much power over the country? And with his talks about borders and walls, like it just doesn't seem like that's the kind of person you want running the country. Uh, I probably will not be. Do you have an opinion on what's going to happen tonight in regards to the result? Um, I'm really hoping that Trump does not get elected. All his opinions are just complete, utter stupidity. Uh, no, I'll be at work, but uh, I know it's on everything. Everybody's talking about it all the time. The American election scares the heck out of me. Why does it scare the heck out of you? Because neither candidate is probably worth running the country, and we being Canadians living next door to them sort of scares me. I will. Tell me why. Um, I think that American politics are important because they affect us, and I'm really hoping that uh, we don't have to see Trump become the next president of the United States of America. 
This is Stacy Mayhall from the AIDS Committee and kind of a celebrity person I ran into on the street. Interestingly enough, you're a registered American voter. Did you vote? I did vote. Yes, I did. And is this election more compelling than any other that you remember? Uh, compelling in a really scary kind of way, yes. Now, you don't have to tell me who you voted for, but did you have strong opinions heading into the, when you, I guess you ballot, did you do your ballot online? I, I did my ballot uh, by email. Uh, so they sent me the, my ballot and I filled it out and sent it back to them by email. Why has this situation been so strange in your opinion? Uh, it, it's maybe the most divisive election I have seen, really, full stop. Um, and I, I think that uh, it, it doesn't bode well for post-election coming together and working together as I always hope that we can when it comes to elections because that's the point. You want to elect someone but then they have to represent everyone. So. Well, it will be quite a night this election is when we're talking about in countries outside of the U.S. than any other election I can remember. We'll talk to Dr. Tabachnik on Wednesday after the results are done, which could go well into the night.